Hey everybody, how's it going? So Radwood Los Angeles is today, I'm super excited, but I don't know what car to drive. I have several 80s and 90s cars in my fleet and I can't make up my mind. I really wanted to drive my Nova Twin Cam, but it's running a little bit rough, so this one's out. Mmm, no. Mmm, broken. It's a contender, but no. Not rad. How about this? How about no? Broken. Also broken. Not rad. If we're not taking that, there's only one other choice. Yes, that's right. My 1997 Nissan 200SX, also known as Liam Nissan. Okay, so it's probably a terrible idea to drive a fully prepared 24 hours of lemons race car down to Radwood, LA. There's a lot of stuff on this car that doesn't make it very friendly to be driving through Los Angeles traffic, but I think we need to make it happen. I forgot that we lost a lot of our livery in the last race. I really feel like I have to fix some of this before I arrive at Radwood, so let me get to work. Hope it doesn't rain. Can you say Liam Nissan? Can you say Liam? Gotta hurry, gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Run out of time. Okay, just about ready to go, but if you know me and you know Radwood, I can't go to this show dressed like a normal person, even though this shirt is pretty rad. You might be asking, what's up with the helmet? It is a race car after all. Gotta protect your noggin. You have a feeling I might get some strange looks? Probably gonna happen. to get into Radwood, actually made it. Look, it's Brian. Hi. Thanks for joining us again at Radwood. You wore this shirt by accident? Yes. 1988? Yeah. Radwood approved. It's just comfortable. <laughs> I do professional wraps, so if you need um, Perfect. if you need any work done to your car. Do you have a car? <laughs> I was a little concerned that it wouldn't fit in, but people have been really into it so far. I'm just overwhelmed with all of the ridiculously cool cars. Where do we go next? That way? Okay, that way. Beer stand. I bought this in 2006 with uh, roughly 14,000 miles on it. Okay. And I noticed, look, we gotta take a quick look at the license plate on the back here. Is this really a piece of shit? I mean, <laughs> anybody who owns one has uttered those words probably a million times while working on this car. Okay. It's a great truck, but it can be very aggravating to okay. work on just because you got 10 pounds of crap in a five pound bag under the hood. Yeah, that so is that is a tight fit, huh? Yeah, so what that. do you really love about this car? I like the rarity factor. Yeah. You know, you're not seeing a hundred of these things driving down the road. This is a 92. They made 2,497 in okay. 1992. And in 93, they only made 2,200. So less than 5,000 of these total, and who knows how many are left. I mean, when I was a kid, this guy down the street from me had one of these, and I'd ride my bike past the house like every day and just drool. <laughs> and when the time came to get one, I'm like, I have to do it. So as aggravating as it is, I still can't bring myself to get rid of it. <laughs> but it's still one of my all-time favorite cars. You know, it's just because it's super sleeper and it just falls ass. 
We found not one, but two Daihatsu charades. Has this ever happened before? Two in one place? No, Never. I don't think so, besides the dealer in 1992. <laughs> still can't get over this. There's, there's two of them. How is this possible? So mine is a 1991, Ryan's okay. is a 1988. So what drew you to charades? Obviously you're you're a pretty big fan, right? Oh yeah. Okay. You know, I've always been into weird small cars. When the second Gran Turismo game came out, I was scrolling through all the manufacturers and I was like, Daihatsu, I remember them. I remember seeing those on the road when I was a kid. I want to own one of those one day. It would just be a fun, cool car to have and unique. I can count probably less than 10 times I've seen a charade in the past 10 years on yeah. the road driving. And we have two here today. <laughs> I love the little car. It's great. You know, it, it doesn't get a lot of love. At the same time, it's a great little car and there's so much to love with it. It's one of those cars you have to drive to appreciate. Sure. It's a ton of fun. It's yeah. a great little, great little car. Somebody else has a Stanza wagon. I'm so excited. I'm not the only one. Is this your car? Yeah. I also have a Stanza wagon. Oh, awesome. I'm very excited. And what drew you to the Stanza wagon? You know, like it was my first car. I never had one before and you start Googling like what you want and then you go down a rabbit hole. This was your first car? Yeah, this is, yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, I guess I wanted a Stanza and then there was effectively only one available. And you know how like when you buy a car, you shouldn't do it on eBay. Yeah. You definitely shouldn't do it unseen or like without having an opportunity to like not buy it. But I flew to <laughs> Nebraska and I hitchhiked to this uh, car shop in the middle of nowhere and I had no choice but to purchase it. Uh, <laughs> and then my three day trip from Nebraska to LA ended up taking 14 days. Oh wow. Because uh, it wasn't in such great shape but I had a lot of nice like breakdowns with vistas of like 500 million <laughs> years of geological history, things like that. That's amazing. Is this a four wheel drive version? Yeah. I've actually never seen a four wheel drive stanza wagon. Four wheel drive makes it even more hopeless to find like uh, <laughs> parts for it. Can I show you my favorite feature about this 1992 Integra GS? Oh yes, I would love to know it's about it. It's endorsed by none other than Michael J. Fox himself. Check this out. We've got this actual car here. Very, very cool spec sheet. Of course, I can't read a single word of it because it's in Japanese, but hey, who cares, right? And he's got Michael J. Fox on it. I mean, yeah, you on. can't go wrong. Where have you taken this car so far? Uh, I've I mean, only I've had it. it since May, but okay. the the legend that I have is 564,000, so okay. seven timing belts, four radiators, four windshields. This one's on original everything. Yeah. It's weird because I trust this car the least because it's too it's pristine. Too original. Yeah. yeah. Probably one of the cleanest intrigues in the nation right yes. at this point. It's been it's been great. I drove it across the country when my grandparents passed away and inherited it, and uh, it's been a nice little daily driver. I've loved driving it around and uh, got lots of memories with the car. And how long did your grandfather have this car? Since right here, since yeah. May of 1999. There he is. Okay. Driving out yep. the lot, and look how good a condition it still is. I mean, like, grand really grandpas care take good care yeah, care of cars, good. don't they? It's a really good care of the car. I like the connection that it has with my grandparents and yeah. the memories of them. Uh, my, my grandpa is the guy who got me in the cars. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to keep it in great condition in his honor. This is really nice. It's a touring sedan in case you weren't sure. How is this different than a regular non-touring sedan? A regular non-touring sedan? Yeah. I don't think you can tour in the non-touring sedan. Oh, I think yeah. that's the only difference. They just it's don't allow. in town. Okay. Yes, in town only. <laughs> yeah. It's a Vector W8. Can you yeah. suss any of this out? Yeah, so what, do, what does all this mean? It's like an aircraft. This thing 
is amazing. This is one of the cars I coveted as a kid. Uh, 84 Mercury Capri Turbo RS. Uh, they made about 1,400 or so. Uh, rated originally at 145 horsepower. How long have you had it? 14 years. I got yeah. my first Capri in Christmas of 1986, and it was an 84 Capri RS 5 liter 5 speed. Okay, so you've been into the, these cars for a while then, huh? I, I have three of these Capris. You have three of these? And okay. An S, and an SVO. I like the bubble back hatch because it's like a 944 Porsche. I yeah. like the very much more sort of flat front end because it's more aggressive looking. I like the way the fenders are boxed out at the top and the fact that I don't see myself at every stoplight. Even in the 80s, you didn't see a lot of them. We own it together. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. I got, yeah. What drew you to Previa? I don't know. We never had one. 95, my mom bought a Windstar. Yeah. Which was terrible. Yeah, but yeah. like, okay, so a Jewish mother wants the safest, so she got the Windstar. Okay. Not the coolest, which was the Previa of the same year. So this thing, very unsafe. Don't watch on. the craft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Video. Oh, no. yeah. Don't YouTube that. <laughs> no, no, no. no okay. Don't do it. I just thought it was the quirkiest no. thing in the world, and I love it. Mid engine, supercharged, yeah. like, Captain Jack. Yeah, this chair spin around 180 degrees. That's amazing. The back awesome. seats go up like a Land Cruiser. You know, we bought it and then put a bunch of work in it to make it run right. And we've taken it camping, we've taken it to Phoenix. It's like the best road trip car ever. Yeah. My other car is like a 2016 Velocitor Turbo. Okay. I haven't driven that thing in three months. Like, I don't touch it anymore. Yeah, and it's my all Previa yeah, all yeah, the time. All yeah. Previa all the time. Okay. Exactly. That's it, Radwood LA is a wrap. Now I gotta drive this thing home. Wish me luck, because I'm gonna need it. Right, we made it back from Radwood LA and Liam Nissan. Success. Radwood LA was a ton of fun. I got to meet a whole bunch of really cool people and see their rad rides. Yeah, there's, there's really just no show like it. I gotta say it, Radwood is awesome. See you later. Oh, 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 oh.